Hello, everybody. Come on in. Come closer. I'm SF Hardy, children's author of Dancing Monkeys in My Soup. And today, my friend Zuri and I would like to read our latest book to you, Bush Baby, Bush Baby, Go to Sleep, written by SF Hardy and illustrated by FX and Color Studio. Now, before we read, we want you to know there are a few parts in the story where we want you to read along with us. And that's when Jabbar says, Bush, baby, bush, baby, go to sleep. Mama doesn't want to hear a peep. Got it? Good. Let's read. Bush, baby, bush, baby, go to sleep. After a long day on safari in Kenya, Jabbar's mom told him to go to bed, but he wasn't sleepy. So he made a tent with his blanket, grabbed his favorite book and big flashlight and read. All of a sudden, Jabbar heard something. Tap, tap, tap. He looked at the window. What do you think Jabbar saw? What kind of animal are you? enormous eyes staring at me. Then Jabbar remembered. You're Africa's smallest primate. I saw you sleeping in a tree nest today. A bush baby! You can stay, but you have to read and then go to sleep. The bush baby leaped onto the bed and happily agreed. Does anybody know what a bush baby is? We'll learn at the end. All of a sudden, Jabbar heard something. Stomp, stomp, stomp. The sound came from inside the house. What do you think the sound is? Jabbar whispered. You whisper with us. Bush baby, bush baby, go to sleep. Mama doesn't want to hear a peep. Mom said, Jabbar, I can hear you. As she opened the door. The bush baby scattered under the bed and pretended to snore. You see the bush baby under the bed? Just as mom turned off the lights and closed the door, down from the window tumbled more. Two, three, four. Three more bush babies making clicking noises on the floor. You all can stay. I'll read you to sleep. But if mom comes back and sees you here, you're going to be in big trouble right along with me. The bush babies folded their ears and all agreed, jumping under the tent to listen to Jabbar read. All of a sudden, Jabbar heard something. Bang, bang, bang. Mom was knocking at the door. Jabbar whispered, whisper with us. Bush baby, bush baby, go to sleep. Mama doesn't want to hear a peep. Mom asked, Jabbar, why aren't you asleep? I'm reading myself to sleep, Mom. He hoped she didn't see the bush babies. Mom turned off the lights and shut the door. All was quiet until... Five, six, seven. Three more bush babies. This grew rowdier than before. Chirpy. They sounded like babies as they wrestled on the floor. All of a sudden, Jabbar heard something. 
Shout, shout, shout. Mom was coming back. Uh-oh. Jabbar whispered. Whisper along with us. Bush baby, bush baby, go to sleep. Mama doesn't want to hear a peep. Mom yelled, Jabbar, go to sleep. The bush babies ignored Jabbar's pleas and continued to play. He opened the window to shoo him out. But there were more bush babies headed his way. Can you imagine? There's already a bunch of them in his room. How many more can fit? Eight, nine, ten. That's enough. No more bush babies can come in. Put your glow sticks up and your radio too so I can finish reading to you. Jabbar whispered. Bush baby, bush baby, go to sleep. It looks like he's getting sleepy. Are you? With a book in hand, Jabbar fell asleep and the bush baby snuck out the window without making a peep. The end. Now, does anybody know what a bush baby is? I'm going to tell you. It's also called a galago. You'll have to do some research to find out more about them, but there's activities in the back of the book to help you do that. So thank you for reading with us. We appreciate it, and we hope you enjoyed yourselves. Until next time, bye.